Next up, we have our Hackathon 70 hack winners. They are Sai, Divya, and uh, Vadim Petrov. Hope I got that right, guys. And they are going to tell you all about Polite, which is their policy tool for engineers. So, uh, good evening, everyone. It gives me such a great pleasure to present in front of an August gathering. Uh, I'm Sai Divya Kandalam, a graduate student from George Mason University. And today, uh, myself and my teammate Vadim, who's a network engineer for Internet2, we are here to present our hack on policy tool for engineers. So we abbreviated it as polite, and <laughs> we were called the most polite group. So it's, uh, it's about the policy tool for engineers, and let's see uh, what we have done yesterday. And uh, the credit goes to all the 12 team members. So uh, whoever are here, um, it's all about the teamwork, and thank you each and everyone of you present. So coming to the overview, uh, there have been so many advancements made in the field of virtualization and automation, but still there's a large part uh, that is left unautomated in the field of networking. And uh, one such area is IRR verification, that is Internet Routing Registry Verification. Uh, where the customers advertise the prefixes to the service providers, and the service providers have to uh, take those prefixes and uh, configure it in their routers. So when doing this manual work, there can be fat fingering or uh, mistyping of addresses or prefixes, and this can lead to uh, many networks going down. So to prevent all this, we wanted to automate that uh, entire process. So uh, it would generate the con it would uh, take uh, the real time data, generate the configurations suitable to the network devices. So for our hack, uh, we considered both Arista and Juniper routers. So since we were a huge team of 12 members, we broke down ourselves into groups of two, and we listed the tasks that we have to do to complete the hack successfully. And uh, those were the following three hack uh, tasks that we came up with. The first one was uh, IRR data collection, because we need all the prefixes that the customer advertises to the uh, service provider. So the first task was collecting uh, that data. And the second task was create configurations based on the data that we get. So uh, we get the data in the form of JSON, and we have to create configurations uh, that are pushed down to uh, Juniper and Arista devices. So we have to create the BGP policies, etc., cetera, of, that are com compatible with Juniper and Arista. So that's the third task. We named it as uh, device interaction, and, it, de and uh, it deploys the configuration that was generated from the previous step, and it pushes down to both Juniper and uh, Arista routers. So this was a brief gist of what we did the entire uh, day yesterday. And I hand over to Vadim, who's going to explain uh, more about the block diagram and a couple of statistics that we have gathered. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sai. My name is Vadim. Um, uh, the, here's the block diagram of, uh, of uh, um, uh, our application. Uh, once we split up into, into the teams, um, with, with such a big group working on this project, we have we had 12 members. I, I think what we did great was we sp split up right away, and every couple hours uh, we would get together and sync up. So people who worked on the data collection um, told the the uh, configurations group basically where are they at and uh, can they provide the JSON, right? Uh, I I. I really enjoyed that experience and uh, how we did that with, with 12 people working on a, on a project. So the, um, the data collection uh, gets, gets the information uh, from uh, RADDB and so then puts that in, into JSON format and hands it over to the, to the create configurations block. Um, what that team implemented is it turns JSON into um, actual uh, routing policies and prefix lists um, for 
uh, Juniper and Arista devices. And then I worked on the, on the device interaction. So uh, for Juniper, what we did, we, uh, we used uh, Juno's PyEasy API uh, to uh, merge the configurations uh, and uh, it, it used NetConf. Um, with Arista, something similar was implemented with, uh, I believe, eAPI. And uh, the whole project was written in Python, uh, but because of the way we split it up and because of the interfaces we had between the blocks, um, it, it could be any, any language, um, just coincidentally, we, we all worked in Python. Um, I, I would like to say thank you for, to the whole team, everybody who worked on this project. It, it was a great experience. This is my second hackathon. Um, and it, um, seeing how people come together, organize, and you know, hack together on a project, something that we don't just do every day, right? Um, that's great. Thank you. Um, thank you to Facebook for uh, organizing. Uh, thank you, Nanak. Uh, thanks to everybody here. Um, I, I would love to see more hackathons in the future, and it's, it's been a great experience. Thank you, everybody. Um, just one last thing. We also made uh, a web interface um, for, for the management to, uh, um, to see uh, the, the, um, the changes over time of the data. And in the future, if anybody likes to, to contri contribute to the project, um, we would absolutely welcome that. So there's GitHub link, and uh, uh, I personally um, would, would like to continue on that and uh, get some additional vendor support on every Cisco devices. Um, and of course, the, the code needs refactoring because we hacked it together in a day. Thank you. All right, it is now time for our break. And a quick reminder before we got to that break is that for all the Neonog members in the audience, one of the benefits that you have is free professional headshots. And if you look in your email, a reminder was sent out at around 2.20 this afternoon that gives you the link, the link to sign up for those headshots. So please do, fo do so. <laughs> all right, good break, everybody.